Hello, Caitlin. How's it going? <laughs> I've been I've been trying to muck around with uh, chat. I was trying to Ian Ian's thing was off center and it was driving me nuts. So I was trying to. Why is this shirt sagging? God, I must have lost weight. I haven't worn this shirt for a long time. Um, yeah, I was trying to drag it along to uh, make it more centered, and it just wasn't having any of it, so uh, couldn't do that. But well done, Beverly Hills Cop. I was actually watching that a couple of days ago, and that's why I put it up here because I didn't realise that when they come out of that big mansion, um, it was there was a DeLorean parked outside. I've, I've never noticed that before, uh, which I thought was quite fun. But did you know that that mansion is in a place called Green Acres, I believe, in in LA? Uh, and it was the home that they had the big shootout is the exact same home that they have the shootout at the end of Commando with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And that house was built by the silent film star Harold Lloyd. He didn't actually build it himself. I'm sure he had a team of builders in. But uh, useless facts to get on with uh, Tuesday night for you. <laughs> and the devil is everyone. I've laid out what we're doing tonight. So uh, I did make a mistake in the last one, which we're going to be rectifying as well. Uh, but, you know, today, you recognised it instantly. Wow. <laughs> so what, what What about two cars? Did you recognise Beverly Hills Cop, or was it just the street? Because I thought that would be hard. There's no Axel Foley there. There's none of his beat-up car there. It's just uh, two cars in a in a, an American street. Very good. Stop, my mum will shoot. <laughs> oh, bless. Um... Science Keeper, Wayne, did you hear from IXO and Eagle Moss? Oh my god, Science Keeper. No, is this the first that's uh, happening? Hello, Lou, how's it going? Uh, you know what, all I've had today is... Uh, hello, Christian from Grantham. I can't continue unless I do this. Let's give it up big time. Hello, Christian from Grantham. Now let's get cracking. Hello, Russell uh, Bassett over there in uh, Tampa, Florida. Okay, don't mistake the, the DeLorean or the Christmas lamp who's vacation car in the distance. Oh, yeah. Didn't even realise that either. Okay, uh, have I heard about... Um, stand by. <laughs> I'll, I will come back to messages. Have I heard about Eagle Moss, Ictome, and Fan Home? Can you believe Fan Home are going to be doing the Enterprise, the Eleanor, the Ghostbusters, and uh, what's the other one I'm missing out? I'm missing one. Oh, the DeLorean. I knew about the DeLorean, but are they just distributing it or what's going on? Now, if you're trying to access the site, let me rewind. I'm starting right in the middle when I shouldn't do that. Today, we all got this email that registered, I believe it was in August, to say where we were with our collections. And it looked a little bit like that. If you haven't seen it, it's on my social media at the moment. Um, and you'll be able to see it from that. Now, all the links in that do not work. You can click on them, but it's going to ask you for username and password. The reason they don't work is because that page isn't going live till tomorrow. So when you click on those tomorrow, theoretically, uh, you shouldn't have to put a username and password. It's going to take you to a holding page. Okay, so uh, I wanted to check that the links that I had, uh, if, you, if you break down the URL, uh, you've got a tracking number at the end. And I wanted to know, is that tracking number registered to me or someone else. That's why I quickly changed my social media. Because I don't want you all logging in as me. Uh, but no, that's just a, uh, a like a Google Ads tracking. It's nothing to do with an individual person. So if you were to type that email address, uh, the URL in exactly as you just saw it on that picture there. It will still take you to the same site. So hello Gunny, how's it going Bruce? Bruce, I still haven't received any email. Oops, sorry, uh, any email. I don't know where you're sending them or why it's not sending. Um, but look, that's my email there. So why it's not going there, I don't know. Haven't got a clue, uh, Bruce. So uh, sorry about that. Um, let me get rid of that now. Okay, so this is Speculation Central at the moment. So uh, if you are looking to start the DeLorean, the Enterprise, the Ecto-1, or the uh, the other one, I, can't, I keep, keep, keep forgetting, keep forgetting. Ixo are going to be doing some others, but it looks like Fan Home are doing those. What are we going to be expecting tomorrow? Now, this is Speculation. Three things we're going to be expecting tomorrow, I reckon. Either we're going to click on that link and it's going to be another questionnaire saying, where did you get to? Do you want to start this collection from then? And just gathering information again for Fan Home. That's the first possibility it could be. The second possibility would be all the issues up on the channel and you just click the ones you want to buy. I really don't think, but it could be a third option, that they'll continue your subscription and you don't have to do nothing you'll just be paying a new vendor for it i don't think that's going to happen but i could be wrong 
all speculating. I think personally it's going to be the first one. I think they're just going to be doing some, uh, we're going to be taking over this collection, blah, 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 blah. Can you let us know where you come uh, got to and then they'll email you so you can set up, I guess, payment details. I don't know. But uh, there you go. So if you can't access the site, that's the reason why. I'm sure, I don't know when it's going to go live. It says tomorrow, but is that tomorrow our time? Is it tomorrow America time? Who knows? So uh, don't be surprised if at noon tomorrow we don't hear anything. <laughs> But uh, interesting news. I didn't know Fan Home at all, but there is still breakdowns in communication there because I put um, I put it on Twitter uh, just saying, you know, this is what's going on to Ixo. And I tagged in Ben Robinson. Now, obviously, Ben uh, did a lot of the brands over at Eagle Moss for Doctor Who, Star Trek, that sort of thing. And um, Ben basically replied that, you know, uh, news is slowly coming out, but it's very premature. It's come out too early. So I don't know if Ben was aware that that email was sent out officially. Haven't got a clue. It's a bit weird that one company sending the email out uh, without the other company. So unless Ixo pulled the trigger a little bit too quickly because the email came from Ixo and Fan Home weren't ready for that, I don't know. So uh, this site will crash, yeah, probably. So, um, so if you are doing any of those, the good news is it looks like we are going to be able to continue it. So the, we'll have a finished Ecto-1, which I will definitely do on the channel. Uh, and when it's finished, uh, Svi, if you're watching, I'll be taking a, a visit down to Alton. Is that where you are now? Somewhere around that area on the south coast. Uh, and I will deliver that to you. Um, the Eleanor, Ian, is still up for you. If you want to do the Eleanor, you, it's here for you if you want to do it. Otherwise, I'll finish it off. So uh, I'll leave that in, in your theme. The Enterprise. I'm not going to be doing the Enterprise. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, but I've, I've set my heart and I'm doing this Polar Lights one now and that's taken up on my time. So um, I'd rather do that and wait for a, a Polar Lights kind of version. Big one 350 scale of the D one day or the B or the E. I don't know whenever they come. So uh, that is the Enterprise D, Paul. That's the big metal heavy one. So uh, there you go. They must have loads of issues in container. I don't know, Chris. You see, I reckon... I don't know when... I don't know the what's been going on in the background. But obviously, Eagle Moss would have paid for a certain amount of shipments. So those shipments are probably lined up. But I don't know if they would have... Because the the group of people that were doing the, the subscribing weren't up to that stage. Would they have made future stages? I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Because I don't know how it works. It's all speculating for me. I can't. I can't comment. I'm sure someone will comment about it when when all this all of this is out in the wash and everyone's got their collections again and they're building it and they're all happy. I'm sure we'll figure out what happened. I don't know, but uh, there you go. But uh, that's uh, that's that was the big news today. And uh, honestly, I got so many emails and messages saying they can't access the site. And I'm like, well, the site doesn't go live till tomorrow, so it's no wonder you can't access it. But uh, there's going to be no more Redux of the D. But on the other side of it, uh, Jacob, I, I'm doing my complete own thing with the... Uh, I've got it behind me, actually, with the uh, Polar Lights refit, which I'm having a load of fun with at the moment. Now, tomorrow, I was going to be putting on the channel uh, pack eight of the Lamborghini Mirror. I'm going to leave that probably till Thursday or Friday, because uh, tomorrow, I've actually got a week's worth of footage for the Enterprise. So I thought I'd bring that out. And basically, we're starting to build the bridge, doing the AB deck. I've got some painting in there, grinding. It's all sorts of things. So unlike what you've seen here when I'm just doing part work builds, you're going to see me painting, grinding, sanding, and doing all of that. But uh, I think tomorrow's video is about 25 minutes long. But I'm having a great deal of fun already doing this kit. It's uh, brought up that energy that I had when I did the time machine and the ET spaceship and the Orca, even the, uh, uh, the Thunder Road there, uh, which was cool. So... Don't trash your Enterprise D. I'm not trashing the Enterprise D. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to uh, be giving it to a good home. It's already been accounted for. So uh, uh, people need spares. <laughs> but so that's what's going. Now, the question is international shipping. Good deal, Bergdis, because the thing that Bergdis actually noted is the three countries that they were talking about was Germany, UK and USA. So what happens to the folks in uh, the Netherlands or the folks in Iceland or even the folks in Australia? I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. Perhaps we'll figure that one out tomorrow. And I'm sure patrons will be talking about this tomorrow and Thursday. I'm sure we're going to be talking about it as well. But it's good that the ball's in motion and things are working. I do wish the communication was a little bit better between Ixo, Fan Home and whoever's involved in that. But uh, I don't know. 
I do I do get the impression that, that email did go out a little bit early today, so uh who knows? <laughs> um Audio but that's no problems. I, I I wanted to communicate because it was an official source, so once it's official, because I know uh, I had a couple of emails saying is this legit? So I'm like Actually, I better check this. So I went and did the the usual check the email headers and check who it's coming from. But yeah, it's it's legit. And Ben's confirmed that as well, Ben Robinson. But as he said, it was it was a little bit early. So what's going to happen to the Batman car? Well, the Batman car was licensed in the US, from what I understand. They still had the license over there, but there's no one to build it now. So you never know. Another model company might pick it up. But as for the 1966 Batmobile, who knows? Who knows? I don't think it'll be over here because we got the tumbler. Now, anyone who's doing the tumbler will know that tomorrow issue two is going to be in the shops and we're getting the wheel. You'll also know that if you subscribe to it, you should be getting your copy in the next seven days. I've spoke to Hashet today and you'll be getting two copies. And it's going to be pretty much like that going forward because obviously only one issue is being released every two weeks all the way till May. So uh, there you go. You don't hope Fan Home doesn't get overwhelmed uh with these new kits that it messes up with getting the parts well that's what's making me um wonder roy that i, I don't know if they're going to be advertising them as here's a new kit to build i'm i'm wondering i'm wondering if they're just solely going to be distributing the kits i haven't got a clue because um i think it's just going to be a solely distributing thing but i'm speculating again you shouldn't speculate wayne because most of the time you're completely wrong so <laughs> Will you be doing the creature from the original Water Worlds? What, to go with the old war machine here? That could be an interesting build. You know what, Wayne, at the moment, I've got here, um, I've got the Porsche, the next pack of the Porsche, and I've got the fire truck. The fire truck's probably going to be out this week as well. If not this week, it will be Monday. That's pack 10. Now, I believe in pack 11 of the New York fire truck, that's the penultimate pack. We're going to be doing the diorama or starting to do the diorama. Um, but other than that, I've had some notifications from Fan Homes that uh, Fan Home that uh, is it Fan Home? Yes, that things have been sent out. I haven't got a clue what, so it, just wait till it appears. But uh, with a post at the moment, Mrs. World Away is still getting birthday cards from the 29th of December. I'm still getting Christmas cards as well. So uh, there you go. Um, the Jeep is going to be from Ixo. That's right. Yeah, uh, at the bottom of that, it did show three models that Ixo are going to be covering. I don't know what ones they were. What were they? The Jeep. I can't tell what the other the other two. The Mercedes and I don't know what that middle one was. Can't remember. Oh, there we go. The Nissan GTR. So there we go. XO are going to do that. Fan home doing everything else. That's crazy. I don't know what else we're missing. Is there any other build that they would do? I mean, the Titanic, we knew that wasn't, uh, that wasn't going to continue. <laughs> do you think fan home would offer complete kits? I think if they do, Lou, I think it will be uh, as in a shopping thing that, you know, you, you'll have issues one to a hundred, if you like, and you just pick which magazines you want. And if you want the full kit, you'll stick every single one of them in the basket. I wouldn't be surprised. But uh, again, I, I'm going to say I'm speculating. I haven't got a clue. I'm just thinking what I would do if I was Fan Home. But uh, there you go. I'm sure Fan Home are going to... Uh, Make it crystal clear from tomorrow, and we'll have to see. Obviously, we're assuming it's Fan Home just because of the web address. Uh, but uh, they they had a thing called uh, Fan Home SF, which I'm I'm guessing sci-fi, Fan Home sci-fi. Is that another sort of like a brand of a business that they could uh, stick things like the R2 or the X-wing or the Millennium Falcon in? I don't know. <laughs> I'm full of all these good ideas though. So if anyone from Fan Home is watching me, you know, I think it would be great to have that whole sci-fi banner. Under one thing, you'd uh, you'd make a killing. Can you imagine that fan home, fan home, the the home of sci-fi? I should be in your marketing team. <laughs> uh, Optimus Prime, I believe, is January, but I don't know when. Agora models actually showed the first pro, uh, prototype of the Optimus Prime on their um, social media. They've also shown what's in Pack One as well, which looks to be a load of things to do. I haven't had any notification when that's being shipped, and I'm sure. Um, once that's done, I'll let you know. I'll let you know that's happening. You'll know because uh, it's uh, I'm doing it. <laughs> you really want a, a Ecto One set, Lou? Uh, honestly, you've got no room because <laughs> you thought your your um, Doomsday machine was big. It's about well, it's almost it's getting almost as big as that Doomsday machine. You're going to need to build another extension. <laughs> if they offered them as a full kit, you'd buy them more. 
that's a fair deal. Or the other thing I'd say, if 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 they offered them, as I said, say it was a hundred issues, and you get to pick which ones you want, knowing for a fact they're always going to be replenished and in stock, rather than you know issue one's tens now out of stock forever, then you can uh, have your bite size um, budget and say, well, I'll buy the first ten issues now, and then I'll come back and buy the second. Uh, and if it was out of stock, you'd have a date at the bottom which says when it's coming back into stock, so you're not, you know. Str strung along forever hoping it will come back into all these ideas i've got wow i don't even work for any of these companies <laughs> uh, but i'm sure we're S sf sf fan home <laughs> very good ah oh, it's like a thursday night stream i'm meant to be building tonight and for the first 15 minutes i've just been talking about xo ixo and fan home so uh but tonight uh i'm gonna be uh complete well completing i'm gonna be continuing with this diesel engine now i have made a mistake so i want to put that right right this second okay so this is the frame yes i've changed my mat again i have got my blue mat but i thought i'd use this one today uh can you see the mistake look i uh when i did these cross braces here someone pointed this out i don't know please uh shout up in chat if it was you i screwed them in for this side but uh, as you see i missed them out of this side here <laughs> so i need to put them in so i have got my wow stick somewhere there it is and i've already got these ready to put in so let's get these in there whoops in the hole cool and i'll do the second one now i will try and look at chat while we're doing this oh we, we are building tonight david <laughs> you don't want to hear me rabbiting on all night about speculating things which are probably going to turn out to be completely wrong tomorrow but you know it keeps the uh oh that's a tough one it's um come on get in there it keeps the conversation alive doesn't it so now whoever pointed it out to me that i made a mistake look i fixed it okay so the cross braces are in we don't need that now what we are going to be doing if you remember last time here's the instructions we completed this which was the uh, pistons which are in cylinders which are all going all over the place at the moment uh we're going to be adding onto that so uh, we looped them up we're going to be putting this into the cylinder block. Look at that. Pretty cool. Solid piece of metal. That's the next thing we're going to do. Uh, and then we've got to oil some parts, which they're telling me just here. Putting these braces in, checking it moves. Putting some more braces in, checking it moves. Uh, and then we're putting the camshaft in onto these parts here. Now, I've got all the pieces out up to this stage. From this stage, I'm going to have to just uh, find the bits. Who knows where they are? <laughs> yeah, I think the Patreon stream tomorrow is going to be crazy. Patreon stream. I, I was trying to think what we're going to do in the Patreon stream tomorrow. And I think we're going to be... Uh, John Hay, I don't know if you're in chat. We're going to be doing another Gundam model. He's, he bought me two more Gundam models. So I thought we'll have a play with that. So while I'm building that, I can discuss what's going on with Fan Home. <laughs> which should be fun. So, uh, wow stick sounds rude. <laughs> Well, it doesn't vibrate, but it has got a light on, so you can use it in the dark. That means anything. Wow, I look like E.T. Okay, okay. Let's, let's do this. Cigar. That beer's kicking in early tonight. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this cylinder block, uh, and I'm putting it this way around, because you know me, I'm going to put things in the wrong way, and I need to put these cylinders down into this section here. Hopefully, they're going to fit with no problems at all they're in excellent perfect so now i'm just checking the orientation of that that's looking good perfect right so that was one whole page done just doing that but we want to keep this in place by putting these brackets in now towards this end here we have got this bracket with the lip on this reminds me a lot like the titanic build we had this which is going in there and that's held in with 103 screwdrivers which are screwdrivers 103 hex screws which i've got here which once again they're not uh magnetized so <laughs> i've got to balance and then put them in i'm not putting oil on these as you've noticed i should have put oil on these uh stand by <laughs> i just remembered got oil here let me just put that around this section Uh, I'm going to have to take this one out. Sorry, I forgot to oil this. Typical. 
if I don't do it properly, then there's no point in doing it at all. That's what I got told. <laughs> I sound like Thumper from Bambi. <laughs> okay, so rolling that round. So I've got a good coating of oil on that join there. I'm happy with that. Make sure that's still lined up and then we'll put that back in. And secure it down. Yeah, you're like me, Alex Builds. That rigging? Yeah, forget about it. <laughs> uh, oil on the jerk. Yes, I'll put the oil on. <laughs> oil. I'm using oil with my wow stick. What does that tell you? Okay, I've got to figure out which way around this one goes. Is it that way or is it this way? It's that way. Otherwise, it's not going to fit. Any lube, Wayne? I've used the lube. Lube's not my department. <laughs> Look, we, we that's got to be a record. 20 past eight and we're already in the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. With these leading words, you may make Esther and I work hard with bots. <laughs> Oh yeah, who's asking about the DC3? Yeah, Edward, yeah, it's um I haven't worked in it for a while to be honest with you, because there's been so much else on. But uh there we go, just checking that's free to run. And as you can see, it keeps asking me to test that that's working. You can see them going up and down in there. So I like that. That's good. Uh so that's in place. We're gonna put some brackets now to hold these middle sections in, which I've got here. They look like this. So again, they want me to do they want me to lube? They're not asking me to lube these bits. So I don't think I'm going to lube them. <laughs> I'm just going to put the brackets in like this. That's one in. Two in. I have bought myself some brand new tweezers, as you can see there. Look, brand new mat and brand new tweezers. That's the third one. I've got all the screws here for this to go in. So let's... Uh, start these running i'm putting them in gently at the moment because uh they're going to go all over the place nobody likes a squeaky wound stick <laughs> it's hard because like as you can see look the oh god now they're all falling out because they're not magnetic it's like to put them in i'm going to have to sort of like tilt it like this and then get them in otherwise they're just going to fall into the cylinder block and believe me, if this was a real car and you drop a screw down in a cylinder shaft, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> Last thing you want to do is take the head gasket and stuff off to get to these uh, things. I've seen it done, though. Plenty of YouTube videos showing that. You just started this Bismarck. Any top tips for manipulating photo edge parts? Very anxious about breaking them. Andrew, get yourself a really hard mat, like a metal mat or even glass, a tempered glass. And cut them with a, sh a really, really sharp knife. In a downward motion. Don't do a slicing motion. You should be good. But, um... There is... A, it's very hard not to bend the parts on that build, I have to say. Because some, some of the parts are, like, 3D photo etch. So they uh, you can't just slice them off. Otherwise, you're going to bend the part anyway. In which case, you are going to have to uh, do the... The old technique of going like this with the metal before they break off. That's the simplest way I find it. So, all fun. Yes, I do have a, a tool for bending photo etch. Look, I've got that right next to me, Mrs. World Away. Look, this one right here. This is what I've been using on the uh, on the Enterprise, which come with this razor, and which was really clever, because even though this razor's got this protective side there, this was how it was in the box. Just floating around, you know, so if if whoever makes this wanted me to cut myself, then uh, that was a good way to do it. But uh, you will see on tomorrow's video, because I think I will release the Enterprise tomorrow. I've been using this a lot. This is my other vibrating tool, which uh, I haven't got on at the moment, uh, to do most of the grinding work on the, uh, on the Enterprise. But I've been doing a little bit of painting today on it. But it is my yearly project, so I'm only doing it in bite-sized chunks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. 
Oops. Ah. I'm trying to figure out why I've got this extra screw here. I got out the exact number of screws I need. But why I've got an extra one, I don't know. There we go. That's the last one going in there. Now, once again, they want me to check that's working. As you can see, that's working absolutely perfect. I'm happy. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do, just checking the right size here, which is this side here. We have got the camshaft and this all metal is what the camshaft is looking like. Look, check that out. Now I need to push that into the hole, which is there. So it comes out the other side like that. And I also need to make sure this is engaged. Now, eventually I'm going to have to put the timing in as well for this, which is going to be fun. Uh, just checking that is in the right place yes that's in the right place no problems at all so in the other side i've got to put a bearing hopefully you can see this i've got the bearing out already it's going to slip into there they haven't asked me to put any oil on then the cover which looks like that and then the screws i've got what screws is it it's uh 101 so i've got the right screw here but I thought I got the screws out for all of these. I seem to have one long one and uh, I'm missing one short one. So that's one in. Let's put that one to one side. Where's my other screw gone? That's not good. Right, okay. So we need another... What's this take? 101 screw. Da, 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 da. Oops, wrong one. Now, these obviously all come in the pack here. And luckily for me, the 101s are all the same kind of screw. I think I must have just got out the wrong screw then. That, that, that's what happened. Only 349 days till Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot going on before that finishes. What was I doing? <laughs> there we go. I was putting it in here. <laughs> I got a little bit uh, lost then. Okay, let's put this one in. <laughs> Have been watching your videos and you make everything look so easy. Oh, believe me, Andrew, if you could watch the edited version of these. I, I have I started to do a blooper roll. You know, I wanted to do that last year, but I had the computer malfunction and lost it all. I've started again this year. And believe me, we're only like, what is the day's date? Ninth, 10th today? I've already got about a minute's worth of footage of bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's in. Check that still turns. That looks absolutely fine. There's nothing holding this in here, just so you know. This is still free to come out, as you can see there. But I am uh, a little bit concerned because that's got to fit nice and flush in there, which I think it is now. Oh, there we go. Nice and flush that's got to fit like that. So I'm not going to take that out again. Be good. Okay, so next stage we're at is uh, I've got to get the parts out. So I need part 98, which is in here. Let's uh, get this out. 98. It's a uh, another gear which looks like that uh and wow that's it so where do they want this one uh they want this one to go onto this spindle that we've got here now it has got a little d-shaped pattern which you can see just there so it's going to follow this but when i put this on i need to line up the timing marks so let me uh, revolve this around now. And then it should slip on. Let me just uh, make sure I've matched this up there. Perfect. So <laughs> I can't believe we've got to do the timing on this. Can you see the two dots now match up? So happy there. Just making sure that doesn't sit any further down. No, that's as tight as I can get it. So happy about that. We're in. It says rotate the transfer by ham and observe whether it works. Okay. I'm going to do it this way this time so you can see them going up and down like that. Very good. I like that. We know our timing's correct as well. So that's a good sign. Next, we can put that whole thing to one side and I need to get some other parts out now. So we're going to be assembling the belt pulley. Trouble is they haven't gave me a... Uh, 
let me show you this they haven't gave me a uh, detail of what number this is so i guess i've got to find it uh ah here they are so i've got this section here i'm guessing is that looks the same yep i'll go with that let's get the bits for this so we need that we need loads of little things 109 which is in here check your facebook messages i will check my facebook messages in a second let me get all of these bits out 74 uh which is this funny pulley thing now i'm guessing i'm hoping that's the one 111 which is in here i'll put all of these foam bits in later which is just a uh tiny washer and then 101 which is just your normal screw okay let me uh just click over to facebook standby i don't know if it's going to let me access the messages at the moment uh i can't figure out facebook let me go back to this camera <laughs> i use social media on my phone i don't really use it on the pc so oh what's this the the nexus oh so the nexus has got something uh why can't i make that big uh let me look on my phone and just see that because uh kevin's good at getting information so uh stand by this could be like a stop press sort of thing you know i could get that big then so uh not normally a problem <laughs> okay so uh i'm just gonna go to where did you send that was that that was the world of wayne messenger channel wasn't it why have, I, I can't even see that see it anymore oh there he is there it is right okay stand by right so fan home has the license for the majority of the part work builds the websites in the email sent by x are wrong there'll be a new one available tomorrow the 11th of january when the website goes live tomorrow you'll be able to sign up and start your subscription from where you left off so as i said it is a sign up thing tomorrow you will not be able to buy these issues individually there we go that answers that question you will not be able to accelerate or skip issues once you start your subscription. Tomorrow will be open for anyone who needs to finish their medals. New subscribers will be available to subscribe from February to March time. Fan Home, thank you for this, Kevin, by the way. Fan Home does not hold the customer database, so they will not know which issue you are from. So I said it's an information gathering thing. So I, I, my speculation was right for one thing. Also, Fan Home will not replace any issues damaged prior to the point. Meaning that if you have any damaged parts or issues from Eagle Moss, they'll not be sent to you. You'd have to start your subscription from that point. Wow. And at the moment, UK, USA, Germany, the only places they're able to post out to, if you live somewhere where phone home, fan home can't deliver, I'm afraid you're out of luck. Well, there you go. So, thank you for that, Robert. Interesting stuff. Uh, wait, watch this space tomorrow. We'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. Interesting. <laughs> okay. So how does this go? Oh, there's another bit I haven't got out. Number 89, which is in here. Get that bit out. 89. Uh, and that would be this thing here, whatever that is. So all interesting stuff, isn't it? I'm sure we'll be a, a lot happier tomorrow when we have more information about how this is going okay so i've just put that little bit of metal there through the center which fits lovely on flush there look at that wow okay then we're going to be putting the bearing on no nope, we're going to be putting yep the bearing which goes on there then i'm putting this little pulley on now the pulley is going to go on that way so it's housing the bearing i'm guessing which that there we go it's in so that's nice and flush there and then we've got the little tiny washer, which I can't pick up. There we go. And then somehow I've got to piece all of that together with this screw, <laughs> which isn't magnetic. So there we go. Get me a little wow stick and uh, hopefully. There you go. Oh, it's rolling around in my hand. But there we go. Look, we have got a pulley. That's brilliant. I like that okay it looks like we're about to do the same thing so we need uh 094 now i might as well just take all all of these uh things here 
094 looks like. Hmm. Stand by. I'm looking at all the bits in here. I'm guessing it's that. It looks like that. I'm going with that. I don't know what this is. You got to. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> I think, I think, no. Yeah, I think that's the one. I'm hoping it is. Which they're saying is going through this bigger hole here at the bottom. Uh, no, it's going at this hole next to it here. Like that. I'm guessing. I think. Because we've got some things to add to this now. 54. Which isn't in any of these boxes. 54 must be. Stand by. In here somewhere. Which is this one here. Look, 54. There you go. Uh, what else do we need? 111, which I believe is the little washers. Come to me. <laughs> Can't get that out. And then finally, a screw, which is 104. This is a really tiny one. So I'm guessing this is actually a Phillips head screw. So I'm going to need my screwdriver for this. So the way this one goes, again, we've got no bearing this time. But they want this gear here to go on with the lip facing upwards. So get this into position there. And then once again, God, this is so hard. I should be a pro at this with the amount of miniature stuff I've been doing this week. That's going on the top. And then somehow... I've got to put a screw in here just like that there we go and make that nice and tight perfect so i've got a gear in there oh, i don't know if it needs to be that tight actually <laughs> that might be a little bit too tight i'm sure that needs to be out to turn there you go looking good okay we are continuing which is uh on the other side of that i need another gear which is 69 69 dude there we go. And then a bearing, 109, which is in here. I'm guessing it's one of them. Uh, that's it. That's all they're saying I need. So this is going in this side with the lip facing upwards. So that's in like that. And then the bearings going over the top like that. Very detailed this part is, I have to say. Keep turning. Oh, and now we're up to the stage where we get to fit this to the engine. So you can see the bearing's actually going to go into that point there. So I want to make sure my timing belt is where it needs to be. That looks good. And I'm going to be putting all of this into position. Hopefully the gears mesh. Please mesh. There you go. And that's in. Just like that. We need to hold that together with four. 102 screws what are 102 screws are they these big ones they are so i only need three because i already have one out there let's get this in before it decides to jump out of me now stand by i'm just going to go back to there you go well between my four eagle moss builds optimus prime the corvette the charger and kit i would have plenty to keep me busy this year <laughs> Plenty, plenty to keep you out of money this year. Out of everything you built, do you have a favourite kit or one you're particularly proud of? I love the Bismarck. I love the Rootmaster. And all of my resin um, builds that I've done as part of the Sprueverse Challenge. They're my favourites. And it's always normally as good as the last one I've done. So, I, you know, soft spot for the time machine. But uh, they're all good. No word on the price yet. I'll be surprised if we see prices tomorrow as well. Perhaps they'll communicate that later. There's quite stringent rules there. But, but I mean, as Kevin said in that... Oh, sorry. Let me uh, try and click that back. They're going to take it that if you were to say, you you know, I, I actually started a issue, I don't know, 50. They'll send you from 50 onwards. So what happens if you want to subscribe to this review for new and you say, oh, I got to issue two? Would I start you all the way back from issue two? I don't know, because some people had signed up for things like the DeLorean to start off with. So theoretically, you'd be getting the whole kit. So many questions. <laughs> okay, 
So that's in place. And as you can see, that is now turning and gears are turning and everything's turning and everything looks good. So I'm happy. I'm going to sit here being happy now. Uh, OK, we're going to be putting the sump on now. So I've got no idea where that is. Again, stand by. This is the sump. Looking like that. Uh, I've got to make sure I put it on the right way. So if that's where the cover is, then this is going on this way like that. Perfect. And that's going to be held in with 20 million 102 screws, the screws we just had. So once again, let's get all of them out. Need hundreds of these. It's like having chopsticks for building. Now, OK, we're putting two, four, six, eight of these in. Now, do I put them in like we are? putting a rocker cover in i think i will i'll start in the middle and make a sort of spiral it should be fun got xo email earlier today it was at work they put the fan home link in email i didn't expect that from but yeah no i didn't expect fan home at all that was a good kept secret i have to say apart from the delorean i think that that slipped out didn't it so but uh it'd be interesting uh Some of these to do what Oligo was doing when ordering models outside distribution. Uh, uh, well, it's a it's a good thing. And people still do it here. I think Kevin was getting his um, Robocop and Alien through like a, a French journal, journal magazine company that issue French magazines to the British. All the cheap plastic kits don't have enough detail, but the ones they do are, are fiendishly difficult. Agora breaks everything down. You say in that, Andrew, though, I mean, especially with the, the refit, the amount of aftermarket parts now really does make it. I mean, I had this AB deck, which looked quite plain until I'd put all the photo etch on. And now it's looking absolutely amazing. So uh, a matter of fact, tomorrow I've got to have my first go of a bit of plastic putty, which is going to be fun. Plastic putty, unlike epoxy, which I normally use, you can actually put it on. It hardens up. But if I need to take any off, I can use water. And gently just scrape it so it's like sanding with water you don't sand plastic putty but uh should be fun <laughs> you should go and expand their catalog of motorcycles trains and planes well i think with the whole bond collection coming out agora's got like hundreds coming out next year <laughs> i don't think this is running out of battery i think this is just me putting things in a bit weird all right let's spin it around and do one on this side which is this one here and then I think we've got one more left to do. Come on. It's dead, Jim. I've got the light on this for some reason. I'm having to use this like a traditional one. You did I miss an announcement? Need to finish DeLorean. Date hold. Check out my social media. And then check out my social media tomorrow. Because when that goes live, I'll, I'll have that posted up. Okay, that's good. I've got one more screw to put in. 102. There we go. And then that's the sump on. Oh, watch part work upgrades. That could be cool. Ooh. <laughs> Robert Beveridge, my 917 is 50 euros plus 29 euros shipping from Paris to Iceland. Wow. There we go. That's the sump on. Looking good. We are whizzing through this. This hasn't got as many parts as the, um, as the V8 engine. But that's looking like that. Once again, I've got a... I've got this thing where I'll, I want to keep turning it just so I can watch the magic of that happening. I can watch that all day. <laughs> it's precision. Okay, I've got some brackets to put on now. And again, they haven't really told me where these brackets are. They're saying they're number 30. I can't see any number 30 in there. Uh, aha, here they are. Number 30. Let's get all of these out. Oops, dropping the engine. One, two... Do I know the difference between putty and marmalade? <laughs> I like marmalade. Then again, I've never tried to eat putty, David. <laughs> There's always a first, though. You're talking to me. <laughs> I'll try anything once. <laughs> you got the impression these 1.8 scale Bond cars was already built when you buy it. Uh, really? Where did you get that from? I don't know. 
That's an interesting thing, but I, I, I wasn't under that impression. What gave you that idea? Just out of curiosity. Okay, so these are going to be going onto these holes just here, probably best on the top camera. And they're going to be held in with these screws here on each side. So it's like a uh, stand to actually mount these with. I've seen the 1.6 Batmobile from Jazz Inc, which was already built. You had to just put three things on them. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. And there's the second one. And we just keep doing this to put all these stands on. That's very interesting though, Marcus, uh, you said that. I didn't even give that a thought, you know. I'm sure when we get more details about the Bond cars, it will it will become apparent. Oops. Get this one in. Uh, Paul Reynolds, yeah, the V8 engine has got half the amount of parts. More than four cent. Yeah. <laughs> We've got glow plugs in this base. Right, so, oh, look at that. It's come out. So that's the two on that side, and we'll just do the two on the other side. Turn this goddamn light off. There we go. Perfect. And then we get these in on this side. And hopefully, get that lined up. There we go. Get that in. This is far easier than using those Allen keys, I say. I really do wish they made these out of material which was magnetic, though. How do you think they'll add the submarine elements to the Lotus Spree? Well, Andrew, the um, Eagle Moss it did have a trial in the works which had wheels which turned into the car which had those flaps on. I don't know if you could just pull out the fins then. So, you know, something must be kicking around there in Design World somewhere for that. But um, I'm, I'm confident they're all 1.8 vehicles that will be built up. So... The engine's coming right along. Thank you, Rascal. It's getting there, isn't it? This will be my third engine I built uh, with Tekken. So we've got the... We did the little robot, if you remember. But we've done metal engines, I'm talking about. We did the radial engine first. Then we've done the V8 engine. And now we've got... Oh, <laughs> just lost control on my wow stick. <laughs> oh, my wow stick just fell out of my hands, eh? You've got to keep good... Good firm grip of your wow stick, otherwise it will just spin out your hands. <laughs> so now, look, I can hold this up like that. Wow, I like it. That's uh, got its own little little stand there. Okay, so we don't need the engine now. We're going to start doing some electrics. This is going to be fun. So I need the motor. Now, this is the motor. We've seen this before, Lou, haven't we? Although your one's had a big, long shaft. I think this is slightly smaller. Well, no, I'm saying that. No, I don't know, actually. So we've got the motor and we're going to have a um, sort of like a surround that's going in. I'm just checking the contacts. They've actually secured the contacts down for us. So hopefully they're never going to fall out. But I do need to find that surround, which is number 66. Which, look at that, is this one here. Finding parts straight away today. And then I need some 100 screws. So just get them out. These are really tiny. Uh, I've got springs in here for some reason as well. Um, what I'm doing is I'm putting, I'm trying to figure out which way around it goes. They've got that at the bottom, like this, and then this is going. I'm trying to figure it out. Hmm. If that's at the bottom, this is going on that way. They've got it right. Okay, cool. That's going on the top like that, and then I'm securing it in with these little screws the trouble is i can't see the screw holes this is going to be hard there we go so that's lined up i'll drop one in i think this might be smaller than the bit i've got on here i'll try oh no it's still the same size there we go we got one in let's do the other one too much duplication on the <laughs> wow stick ollie monopoly i still love that name every time you come on ollie monopoly i'm just going to keep commenting about how cool your name is <laughs> Thank you, Ollie Monop. <laughs> there we go. So we've got that brace in there. Uh, and then on top of this, we're going to start putting some shafts. So I need shaft 97. Look, I've made a I can make my own igloo with all of this. <laughs> okay, let me uh change camera. I'm, I'm, you can tell I'm getting late into the stream now. I'm I'm uh 
I'm getting playful. <laughs> okay, so I need this round thing. I don't know what it is. And I need number 90, which is another gear. So that's this gear right here. And again, nothing's holding this in. So we're going to put, I'm guessing this is working as like a lifter here. So I'm putting the lifter in like that. And then this gear, once again, the lip is going to be facing out. So this is going on that way. Like that there. Perfect. Uh, we're going to be putting this into some housing. So the housing is number seven. Looking at all my parts again. Oh God, where's number seven? Aha. Here's number seven. Like a very big thimble. <laughs> okay. So how's this going? Stand by. So it's got a notch in the side. The notch is where the lead's coming out of. And I just have to line up the holes, I'm guessing, which is just like that there. That looks right. And we're going to hold that in with 102 screws, the ones that I've just got and put back. Absolutely typical. OK. So one in the top, they're actually held in on the top. There's no other screw holes for these. And get in the hole. There we go. That's one. So we've now encased this motor. Are they doing gold finger rolls? Rolls? I didn't see that one on the on the list. But um, I'm sure we'll hear some news about that soon. Because you got to remember, we've got we've, we've got some builds from. I'm just gonna chill out and have a drink. Oh, what did I just drop? That's not good. Ah, drop the gear. Um, Agora models are just about. They're, they're not far from finishing the Lamborghini Miura and the fire truck now. So that's two models down. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure Optimus Prime is not going to be too much longer, which is all cool. <laughs> it's going to get, it's very quick, this one. It's a lot quicker than the uh, V8 engine did. Okay, so we've got that in place. What we're we doing now? We're putting this into the flywheel housing, which looks like, wow, this is big. Let me get this out. Looks like this. Uh, and this is going into this little cavity here, like that. If that's going in there, stand by a minute. I've got to, oh, I see, I see how this is working, right, okay. So, it's going to have to go in that way around, I'm guessing, like that. There you go. It can only go in one way, but you'll still see the gear on the outside there. It's going to obviously work the flywheel. So, this is the starter motor, really, isn't it? Okay. Uh, we're putting that in place with guess which ones 102 got a couple of them here oops and it fell out <laughs> there you go it's in get me big wow stick which is going to need a charge after this i'm sure i've used it too much tonight the poor little thing is battered <laughs> overused my wow stick uh and then oh god look at this how am i supposed to pull the wire to one side because I've got to get this last screw in here. I'm hoping this will work. We haven't really had to test it. Now remember, all the electrics for this build are already in here. They, we, we already did them. Ah, get out. We already did them when we did the base here. So we've got all the electrics ready to go. The battery's in there as well. So, but that's in the fly case. In the, sorry, the, the starter motor's in the flywheel housing. And now we're going to be, let me figure this one out, putting this this way round onto the engine. Oh God, so it's going to be going, stand by. <laughs> this is going to be a bit difficult. Hang on a second. My thing doesn't look like the picture. I'm hoping that's right. This is going to go this way round. Like that in here. And then we're going to be obviously screwing that down through the top there uh, with 103 screws. Look, they're trying to mix it up a bit now and give me some 103s. These are longer length of the one we've just had. Now, there's four screw holes for this. So if we're on the top camera, which we are, let's uh, start putting these in. Get in there, <laughs> which I can see I'm, I'm going to have an issue. Stand by. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting a bit panicked. Right. 
Right, as soon as I got one in, I'm happy. Right, uh, I'll calm down a bit now. Okay, we're happy. And get the second one in here. Hope the motor works. I really do hope it works because I've really buried it now, haven't I? What day will we be able to see the fire truck assembly? I was going to put it out on Friday, um, 05 Ramadi, Ramadi, if that's okay. Tomorrow I'm going to put the Enterprise out, which means. Um, oh, actually, it might be Monday now because Friday might be the Mura now. I was debating what day to put the. Wait a minute, is that the right screw? Yeah, that is right. I was debating whether to put the mirror out tomorrow and the Enterprise on Friday, but I think I'll do it the uh, the Enterprise tomorrow. Because people seem to be quite fascinated with that. Especially all the cock-ups I make on it, but there you go. I'm not perfect. Here's the last one. Take care, John's model making. So there we go, we've got the flywheel case on now, and which means the last thing to do here is to put the flywheel on, which I'm trying to find. They're calling it part 71, which uh, uh, is here. There you go. Check that out. All metal again. Now, this flywheel does have a lip on it, which I'm guessing is going to go that way around. And I'm holding that in with these 102s. Make sure that that's engaged into the motor, which it is. I can get this into position. Can I see that? I can't see the holes though, so that's not good. Keep turning until I can see the holes. Oh, can I go a bit more? One more time. There you go. I can see the holes now. <laughs> that wasn't going anywhere then. Okay, and we'll screw this one in. Oh, it's going tight. So once I get these three in, which of course don't want to go in smoothly should i be using uh look well come on wayne <laughs> should i be using oil on these pieces i wonder let's get them sitting in there plug me uh the ends come off me wow stick <laughs> there we go and then try and get these in again okay so that one's going in better let's just change the camera for the last one here and then this one's going in there. It's struggling. Look, I think I can. I think I can. Ah, I thought I could. I thought I could. Ah. There you go. We got the flywheel in. So we've done quite a bit tonight. As you see, I, I can't really test it now because all the gears are locking everything in. I can turn it manually, I suppose. So you can see them going up and down. And it seems to be working good. But uh, that is where we're up to at the moment. I think one more, one more uh, video of this. And it should be finished because we're over halfway in the book and the book doesn't go all the way to the end. It's uh, The rest of it is just troubleshooting. So you're looking about 10 pages. I don't know. If I had this all completely laid out properly, then uh, you never know. I might be able to do it in one go. Who knows? He has about 400 of those 1350 figures to paint. Ah, oh, Ian, you know what? I thought they were small, but making the chairs for the Enterprise Bridge. Oh, my God. They're like two millimeters. So... Uh, absolutely crazy but there we go so i think we're going to have an exciting day tomorrow when we figure out what these links do and what we're doing and everything's going to come out and then we can look back on tomorrow uh all you patrons or thursday and see how right or wrong we were <laughs> but that's the joy of it but uh thank you for joining me tonight it's been a blast i'm glad i've hopefully cleared up some of the stuff from fan home and thank you kevin nexus for getting that other information as well which is great uh and take care of yourselves see you later